whatever information you obtain from this presentation was not intended to be used for diagnosis of any health problem, treatment of any health problem, or cure for any health problem. And before you make any major adjustment to your life, your lifestyle, it's always best to consult your general practitioner. Okay, so now we are taking a look at um, steam inhalation or steam therapy. And steam therapy is a natural way of removing mucus that is clogged up within the respiratory system. And um, this is predominantly, what uh, mucus is, um, is what predominantly affect the respiratory system when it is inflamed. So anytime the respiratory system become inflamed, whether we have a cold or we have pneumonia, we have any kind of disease, the sinuses, allergens, whatever it is, it's always mucus that is clogged up somewhere within the respiratory system. So what this um, steam therapy would do is help to loosen the mucus and allow it to run out freely. And um, I think this is critical, this is important, because when our nasal passage or sinuses are clogged up, we have difficulty breathing. And if we cannot breathe properly, then we're gonna end up not being able to sleep, not being able to function, and we suffer lots of discomfort as a result of that. Now, this um, steam therapy requires that we have a small bowl, it's a, 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 this, with the bowl and um, a towel, and we need hot water, it's steam, and this is not isolated to just this way of doing it. If people um, can go to the steam room, that's also another way of doing it. We just add, um, it's, it's just taken in steam. And if you're in a steam room, then it would be, it would work out to be the same thing. And one of the reason why this is effective is that a lot of the times when we become congested like this, it's in the seasons when the air is extremely dry. Inside our houses become very dry when we, when, when we turn on our heats, in the, in, in the heat in the house in, in the winter. And if, if we live in an area where we are consistently in air condition in the summer, the air is also dry. So what steam does is add, it, it, it rarely loosens because it ten, has a tendency to thin the blood and increase circulation. So for steam therapy, what we need is hot water. And this water was boiled up in this kettle and we need hot water to boil and a towel. And we could just use the steam with no essential oil. But if you want it to be super effective, it would be good to add some essential oil. If you don't have essential oil, and for, for the essential oils, it doesn't have, it could be any, it could be peppermint. And I have a preference for peppermint. So I would use peppermint. For this, you could use eucalyptus oil as well. That is a very good oil that helps in, in um, loosening any form of mucus or clearing congestion. So I like peppermint, so I will use peppermint in this demonstration. So what I will be doing is pouring this hot water in, in, in this container but if you're doing this all by yourself, one of the things that we must be very, very cautious of is that steam is hotter than water. So steam will burn. Now, we should not bring our heads down in this water below 12 inches. So eight inches, the, the, the 
the most, you're going to go down to the water. So we don't want to be too close to the water. So the water will burn and the steam will burn. So you want to be at an amicable distance where you're comfortable so you could stay for a good 10 to 15 minutes just inhaling the moist steam that is coming up from the water. So in starting this process, how I would do it, I would put this towel over, over your head like this. This is how you would bundle it up behind your head. And once you do that, and you want to make sure you're comfortable. And if you are at home alone, maybe you could use, you could sit on a chair and make this a little lower. Make this a little lower. So you bundle the towel up. And what I would do is pour, I'm going to put the peppermint in first because it becomes activated once you pour the hot water on it. So you pour the hot water in. Mm. And once you pour it in, pour enough. And then you're going to do go over and cover your head so that very little air comes in and you stay under and inhale, exhale as much as you can. And that's how you would do it. Now, I just stayed for a short period of time. My sinuses is cleared. This peppermint is steaming and it's coming up. And you could stay for as long as 10 to 15 minutes just absorbing all of this. And um, this is not just good for clearing sinuses. It's good for headaches. It's good for relaxation. It's good to enhance circulation to the brain. So it's, but the primary focus for us here is to look at this from the perspective where it's going to help with clearing congestion in the respiratory system because that's what we're focusing on. So that is um, what this team therapy do. It's very simple. It's a, just a very simple thing to do. And if we're applying this to our children, um, we would recommend that you constantly supervise these kids, you know, making sure that the water doesn't splash to burn or the steam because it's very, very, um, it can be very dangerous. So something that we're doing, because I know kids get congested a lot. And another way to do this, you could lock them in the bathroom, turn on the hot water and have that steam coming in so that you don't run the risk. You're not putting them in the hot water, but the water comes up and the steam will um, come up with it so that that, you know, or we could get a bigger container and have them sit across this and put a towel over their head. And that will also help to clear their congestion. So um, I know kids get very sick and they're the first one that mothers get very concerned about with congestion, you know, but this is good for everyone, but you must, you must be very, very careful in, the, in, in using hot water by any means. So this, um, this segment on using steam therapy, that's basically what you do for steam therapy. And that's this segment. So thank you again for watching Nature's Way of Healing. And I'll see you in the next segment. We are going to look at um, one way of draining the respiratory or draining the lung itself in the respiratory system. 
and we call this postorial drainage and uh, it as as the name apply it's using different posture and inhaling and exhaling to drain the lung of mucus and this is drained via gravity so the actual process involves us just laying down different posture so we have three different postures that we are um, that you could demo I'm going to demonstrate for you to use um, one of the posture is on your back with your hip propped up so you take the pressure off your lungs so that way gravity could run down and the lung itself whatever mucus is backed up in the lung it will be drained and the primary objective right throughout is to use different po posture to drain the mucus from the lung. And that's basically what I will be demonstrating to you. So I'm going to show you the three different ways. Um, and we are going to start with using um, lying on my back. I'm gonna go on the on my back, and um, I'm using these cushion, and you could do this on your bed as well. So you could just easily do it on your bed, and it would be nice if while you're doing this, you could diffuse some essential oil in the air. So you're popping your hip up, and you're going down. So you're at an angle, and it's always your hip you're gonna pop up. So you take the pressure off your lungs. So once you do this, you're going to breathe in one and then exhale two. And in essence, what that means is that your inhale is going to be less than your exhale. So you're going to exhale for a much longer period of time than you're inhaling. So when you inhale, you're inhaling like this. So you exhale and you empty in essence your lung. And you're going to do that about seven times. So you do that seven times. And one of the thing that you will feel is that you feel like more air is getting into your lung air as it should be instead of m mucus and it mucus you could literally feel it draining and it's not just what is in the lung but also in your sinuses as well you will find that it start draining in the back of your throat and you could literally try this and see the effect that it has so you inhale exhale So your lung is full to capacity and then you exhale everything, one, all the air that's in your lung, you just let it out. Now, this is on your back, so this is one way, and it's recommended that you do all three ways and you will do the same thing on your side. So you lay on your side. And once you're laying on your side, you're going to do the one to three inhaling. You do the same thing. And your lungs should literally feel empty when you're doing it. It should literally feel empty when you exhale. And you do that on both sides. So this is the side. You do it on your back and you do it on your side. And the objective of this is to drain any congestion that is inside of your lung or in the respiratory system. And uh, the Lord has been just so good to us. We, we, we take a lot of stuff for granted that is given to us naturally and for free. We don't have to pay for it. It's all free. So just taking deep breath with free air is just another way of draining some of the congestion that a lot of us um, suffer from, especially during this time of the year. 
And then the final posture is laying on your stomach like this and doing the same thing. So you could use your hands, but you don't want to use a pillow that is going to prop you up to the same level as your hip is propped up to. So you use your hands and you inhale and exhale one to two. So you inhale and empty your lung. And in doing that, the force or the pull of gravity on your lung is going to pull out some of the excess liquid that is in your lung that doesn't belong there and replace it with the air. So you have a displacement occurring. You have the air displacing the liquid and the liquid is being forced out when you inhale and exhale. And that liquid is the mucus that doesn't belong there. So this is another way of draining the mucus in your respiratory system. And um, that's another way of getting rid of mucus from the respiratory system. Um, it, and this is very, very simple, very easy. You don't need a lot of technology. You don't need anything else to do it. You just need to have a pillow, which most people have. You could do it on your bed. You could do it on a mat on the ground. Whichever one of them you wish to use, they work just the same. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. You could try it. This one has no harm in it, just try it to see how well it works for you. And thank you again for watching Nature's Way of Healing. Mm -hmm.